Hello! In our last beekeeping vlog, we showed my dad taking 30 frames of honey out of two hives, and now we're gonna be showing him extracting the honey from those frames. I will link a playlist below of all of our other beekeeping vlogs, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our other beekeeping videos. We're doing the honey extraction in the basement because it does get pretty sticky, and we're not doing it outside because we wanna avoid any bees or other insects, so please excuse the weird lighting and camera angles. We're, we're working with what we've got. When the bees are finished filling the honeycomb with honey, they cap it with a thin layer of wax that needs to be removed before the extraction. My dad is scraping it off with this metal comb on both sides of the frame. What I'm doing here is just taking off the outside cappings. I, I found this to be m the most effective way. You know, they have them hot knives that you can use. The only time I use the hot knives is after I've done this because you lose a lot if you use the, the hot knife. He then places two frames with the capping removed into a honey extractor, which will get the honey out of the honeycomb without destroying the comb using centrifugal force. The honey flings out of the comb and collects at the bottom of the drum. Then he removes the frames and flips them around and spins them some more to make sure he gets as much honey out as possible. These frames with the honeycomb left inside can be reused in the hives outside to save the bees from rebuilding the comb again. He repeats this process with the rest of the frames until the drum starts to fill up with honey and then he drains the honey into a bucket. So now this is raw honey, some wax, pollen. At this point, there's a lot of beeswax mixed in with the honey. So a quick little intermission here. The honey that was extracted from the frames sat in covered buckets for over a week, and that gave time for the wax to float to the top of the honey, which will make it a lot easier to separate the honey. And now my dad's gonna strain the honey. A two screen strainer. One catches the bigger chunks, the other one catches the smaller chunks. They go together, sit on top of the bucket. What happens is all the wax comes to the top. That's all beeswax. From whatever point that wax buildup was, the rest of it's pure honey. I have heat mats that I wrapped around it to raise the temperature from the basement temperature so the honey would flow. It didn't cook the honey at all. It only got up to uh, 78 degrees. So that's a good flow temperature. Here we go. Let's see what we can do here. There it is, liquid gold.
So at this point, the honey is ready to put in jars and eat. This video definitely doesn't do how long this process actually takes any justice because there were 30 frames that needed to be scraped on both sides. So that took a long time, but I think you get the idea. If you haven't already followed my mom's side yard honey Instagram, I will link that down below. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our other beekeeping videos, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram and like this channel on Facebook. Those links are down below.